and we are back. Welcome back to the channel. It is time to start our Copper America 2024 prediction series. Our first ever Copper America prediction series on the channel. Now we did of course do a full tournament prediction for the Copper America. The link to that video will be available for you in the top of your screen right now, as well as in the link in the description where you can take part and see if you can predict the Copper America any better than I can. But today's video is going to be talking about the opening day of the Copper America taking place tonight. It's a 1am kickoff, so I'm definitely not going to be staying up to watch it, but we are going to be keeping track of all of the games and all of the results going on in the Copper America over the course of the next few weeks. So if you do enjoy my prediction series, let me know by dropping a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. 4pm is going to be the time that we release all of our Copper America videos, so these are going to be coming at you daily, every day at 4pm in that little hour gap between the first and the second game in Euro 2024. So that is going to be our little time slot to get our Copper America predictions videos in. And without any further ado, let's get into it. The first day of Copper America starting tonight with the opening game between Argentina and Canada. Now, I don't know if they do things differently in the Copper America, but it is normally the host nation that go first when it comes to major tournaments. But instead, it is the defending champions that are going first. So I don't know if that's just something they do a little bit differently in the Copper America. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you know why it's not the USA taking place first. I thought perhaps initially it could be because USA and Canada are sharing the hosting, but they're not. It's purely USA only for the Copper America, and America play their game in two days' time. So... It is an opening fixture between Argentina, the defending champions, and Canada, who, if you watched my full tournament prediction, are the two sides I expect to get through this group, because I think they are better than the other teams in this group. Not to say that that is any disrespect to the other teams in this group, but... You've got to look at this game here going into it. Like I say, Argentina, they're the defending champions. They have to be considered the favourites to win the entire tournament. But on paper, Canada have a very, very strong group of players and are going to be wanting to cause an upset in this opening game. When you look at the pre-tournament friendlies that these sides have played, Argentina have been based in America, getting themselves ready for this tournament with victories over other tournament competition like Ecuador with a 1-0 victory and then a 4-1 win against lowly ranked Guatemala of all teams. While that was going on, Canada have been over in Europe getting preparations against games against the Dutch and against the French. They were heavily beaten 4-0 by the Dutch and then it was a 0-0 draw against the French. Something very interesting to consider when you think that tomorrow France are actually going to be playing Netherlands in the Euros. So who knows, is that a little indicator of what's going to happen in the Euros? But like I say, interesting to see how these two sides are going to come up against each other. I think if we're being realistic, this is a game that Argentina are obviously going to be expected to win. But let's not forget, they were expected to win their opening game of the World Cup, and they lost to Saudi Arabia, and they still went on and won that competition. So... I'm not going to sit here and say this is a guaranteed Argentina win. I think, like I've already said, Canada are a strong team. They have good players and they're going to be well up for this. They're going to think they can take the fight to Argentina and get themselves the result. However, Argentina are so well organised. They're so defensively solid. And with the likes of, take your pick, Messi, Alvarez, Di Maria, Lataro Martinez, Garnacho, Correa on the bench, Rodrigo De Paul in midfield, Alexis McAllister. They've got so much creative power as well as such a solid defensive line that I can only realistically go for a narrow but safe Argentina win. And I'm going to go for 2-0 to the Argentines to kick off this season or this year's Copper America. As always with my predictions videos, let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments section below. I think we're in for another fascinating tournament. There are a lot of strong teams in it. I love to see the North American sides getting their proper shot at this competition for the first real time. So we'll be interested to see if any of them can start causing any upsets, potentially with the very first game win this one. But I'm going to go for Argentina. Don't forget to check out my full tournament predictor and let me know your thoughts as always down in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching once again. I'll be back in a couple of hours time for my post-match reaction to England against Denmark. I'll see you there.